is going on, governors? Chiskul here, and today we're spinning the wheel not once, but twice. And then we're battling at the Altar of Darkness, which should be a lot of fun. We'll use Guan and CJ, assuming there's battling to be had. If you're hyped for today's stream, throw a like on here. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos designed to help you get value and smash your enemies in Rise of Kingdoms. And I mean, whatever games are freaking awesome, we'll be playing them. But before we begin, big shout out to our members and moderators, Dr. Snow, Danny, Relics. How's it going, Rachel, The Radiant, Daniel, Lady Mock, Baron, AJ, KL Squared, Tenster, Legacy 89. Hello, BYG Pie, and a big shout out to our Legendary Guard, whose portraits rotate on our wall. And by the way, if you're in the Legendary Guard and you don't see your picture here, and you're like, hey, where's my picture? Drop me a message in the Discord server, discord.gg slash chiskel. We'll make sure to get your photo in here, all right? Let's jump in game. Wellamar, hey, cheers. Fernandez, how's it going? Let's jump in game. Here we are, everybody. What is slow mode? It very slightly reduces the frequency with which people can post chats. It, it's very minimal, the extent to which that's actually engaged right now. Like, you can pretty much chat as much as you want. But hopefully it stops some bots from being, you know, lame. Saiyan, how's it going? Vosera? It's good. Gilgamesh or Ramses for open field? I mean... The thing about Gilgamesh is he's not just good for open field. He's also good for rallies. So... Oh, also Ramses is pretty good for rallies too. Crazy. Tommy, how's it going? I'm doing well. Here we go. Hey, Pat, how's it going? I don't know how we're going to do against uh, our opposing war camp on my restart. We'll find out. We'll see. You unlocked Esong yesterday. Hey, Justin, thanks for the super chat. Sorry I can't watch today. Have a great stream. Thank you for the super, dude. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. And thank you for supporting me and the channel. Dang. That's very generous of you. I don't know how you stare at the one for the wheel all day. I have to clear them immediately. Yeah, it drives me insane. How do I like Gilgamesh? Man, he looks good. He looks pretty good to me. Some very great utility on those debuffs, not gonna lie. And he's really good for rallying. It's like I said in the video earlier today, how is it that archers get all the commanders that can do multiple things? How? How is this a thing? Charles Harold or Alex Harold? Alex Harold is stronger for sure. A lot more punch, a lot more punch to that gun though. Oof. A lot of punch. Here we go. Free spin. Free. What kind of value can I get for free today? Hmm. Okay. Okay. 32 hours of uh, training speed ups. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I'll take that for free. Of course, the game knows they're going to get a ton of my jammies. Ooh. 400 gems for a Gilgamesh sculpture. It ain't bad. Brandon, good luck in your KVK. Let's start these five spots, shall we? Gilgamesh or Trajan? Man, that's a tough one. Do you bring five marches? If not, I don't know. Consider the Gilgamesh. Wow, two universals. Okay, well, the uh, research speed up, I'm less excited about the wood I don't need, but whatever. You have 16,000 gems and a gem supply, 21 days into the kingdom. Should I wait for Esong or get Richard? I mean, you should unlock Richard, but I think you should wait for Esong before going ham. Um, if you're in the season of conquest, then everybody's got the wheel right now. Earlier kingdoms before season of conquest, that's before KVK season four. If they're not on a mightiest governor schedule at the same time, might have something different. I don't know if 
every kingdom in the game is on the same timing for Mightiest Governor, even if the commanders are maybe a little bit different. There we go. More spinning. We've got double star. Single sculpture is good. Stone. Single sculpture is good. Single sculpture. Woo! Woo -hoo! Yes, thank you. I don't think skip animation actually gives better loot. Some guy just dropped a hundred thousand dollars in Rise of Kingdoms. You know, I bet you somebody's dropping a lot of money in this game pretty frequently. You're done with Ramses and Esong. What two archers should I do next for field, in my opinion? Wow. Hmm. I think we need to see how good a Minotauri is, because it could be that the Minotauri Artemisia combo would give you both a garrison and a sick open field march. So I would just kind of chill for a moment. Does, so does Kingdom 2173 have a wheel though? I know you don't have this wheel necessarily, but do you have a wheel now? Are you in the Mightiest Governor now? Ooh, 10 sculptures just for spinning. Spin it. Zenith the Power is probably in a month or so. Also, there is an anniversary celebration coming up. Research speed ups. Food, research speed ups again, stars. Dang, that's a, that's a big time ducky. Wait, where'd my duck go? There it is. Guan and Alex or Leo and Harold? I would say Guan Alex. You have no wheel? You're in Mightiest Governor and you don't have wheel now? That doesn't make any sense. If you have Mightiest Governor happening right now, you should have the wheel, I would think. Gilgamesh and Song are going to be nuts for open field. Everybody's going to focus the Gilgamesh, though. That could be. Spin it. Let's go, baby. Right next to the eight spot. 45 hours. Single sculpture. Double star? Research speeds. Okay, well, that went south fast. Off to a great start, and then what a weak finish. Legacy 89. Hey, just cool. I have a max Cyrus Esong Ramses. Is it right to max Gilgamesh and skip Nebu? Well, if you're going to be rallying with Gilgamesh, Ramses and Gilgamesh seems to be a very strong pair. Very strong. 2317 has Martel, Mightiest Governor, and Esong Wheel happening now. Those building speedups are your best friend forever? I don't know about that. So the new meta is one of each troop type as primary... One of each troop type as primary with a secondary DOYSS. Um, so I think it, I think we're going to see rock, paper, scissors in the garrison, depending on what they rally with. If they rally with calves, you might garrison with infantry. If they rally with archers, you might garrison with calves and so on. I think that is likely to to be the outcome of these commanders. P.S. Hi, Gecko. How are you? Oh, you didn't choose them to be your best friends forever. They chose you. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, Nebu is very good for field. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Let's spin it. Single sculpture. That's a nice start. Building speed ups. Dude, I swear. Universal Sculpture, let's go, let's go. Double star, okay, double star. I really don't need stars. I'm doing all right. You just started on Saladin, but we're wondering if you should maybe start to work on Yadviga instead. Yadviga's not really an open field commander, just to throw that out there, like she's really bad in the field. Again, on the topic of archers being able to multitask and every other type of commander in the game can only solo task, so 
Get Vigas just for Garrison, not for field. So, if you're looking for a field commander, Saladin is a good choice. If you're looking for a garrison commander, then maybe Yadviga is a solid play. Hey, Sasuke, thank you for the super chat. Looks like my luck seems to have rubbed off on you. Only had 27 off max spins. Oh my god. Gross. 2316 is a 200 million power player and the kingdom's not even 100 days old. That's insane, man. Every time I think I spend a lot in this game, somebody else comes along and is like, here, hold, hold my commander sculptures and just goes ham. Building speeds, stars, ugh, this is like, it's okay. Guan Leo or Alex and Harold? Probably Guan Leo. It's kind of like my fave right now. I also really like Alex Harold for all that instant proc damage. It's kind of nasty. So really, you can't go wrong with either one. You're in 2173, but the Tamaris wheel. There's no, oh yeah, no wheel, but Tamaris Mightiest Governor, I think you mean. She's a Mightiest Governor Commander, not a Wheel Commander. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you just said Tamaris MG. Cool. Worth saving my building upgrades for Zenith. Um, so going all in on a Zenith, like, depending on what kingdom or continent you're in, like, you, you're gonna need somewhere between 20 million and 50 million to get a great placement there. It's crazy how much power you have to gain these days. Like, I'm just saving up for a health skin so that I can go ham whenever they drop one of those. Stone. Food. Stars. This is so bad. Food. Oh, no. I'll get my hand ready on the duck button. Good God. And that's why I'm not spending more on this game, says Sasuke. It seems the wheel is not worth it until they add more ways to use my 365 days of research speed. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of ways to deploy those research speed ups, is there? There really isn't. Some kid came in trash talking and he instantly powered up to 160 mil. Is that the kid that powered up to 160 mil or this person? Yeah, my will sucks today. What kingdoms have the wall for KVK1? Uh, New kingdoms should have that. New Kingdoms should have that. You can go see that just by looking on the map. Right? You zoom it out. Hit the globe in the bottom right that I just tapped. It was over here. Hit Season 1, and you just take a look. You can see the wall right there. Do I plan to go back to KVK2 on my main? Absolutely not. I cannot imagine going back to KVK2 on my main. Maybe my restart. Would you all want to see that? Would you all want to see my restart go back to KVK2 and 3? Let me spin this. Training speeds. Stone. Single sculpture. Single sculpture. Single sculpture! Way better. Let me run that as a poll. Let me run that as a poll. Do you want my restart to go back to KVK season two? All right, polls out. Let's see what y'all say. Ooh, 100 spin reward. 15 Gilgamesh sculptures. Spin it, baby. Gold is fine. Training speeds are fine. Food is fine. Stone is not fine. And a single sculpture saving that spin. Kingdom 2110. Thank you for the super chat. I'd like to see that as many of my friends have. It's definitely an experience many rock players do, especially free to play and low spenders. Well, I will say 
79, no, 80% of respondents of the 192 that have responded have said that they would want me to go back on my restart, which is definitely interesting. I, I don't know if I expected people to feel that way, but I think it's probably something that people all consider doing. And so they'd want to see, like, what what's it like? Would I want to take my farm instead? People take their mains, so I would take my restart would be the way to think about it, right? It, it's played like a main account, even though it's not my main account, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. There we go. Spin that wheel, baby. Building speeds. Training speeds. Food. Oh my god, this wheel is poning me. No, 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 no. Oh man. I got my hand on the duck button. And then I got the universal sculpture. Saved by the uni. No, you can go back to KVK Season 2. But KVK Season 2 and 3 can't jump into Season of Conquest. You can't go forward. It's kind of weird. They're basically saying, like, no, you need more time to build up power before you go to Season of Conquest. Trust us. You know? That's what that means. Spin it, baby. Spin the win, baby. No. No! I don't want building speed ups, man. Oh, no. Twice? Food up. Oh, get, get. Oh, man. I was getting ready to duck that spin. Still pretty bad. Maybe I should just stop spinning wheels so much. I don't know. Yeah, I get racked. I am getting racked. All right, end the poll. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do... All right, fine. Do you want me to skip the animation when I spin the wheel? Or do you like the suspense? Wow. Maybe I'll wait for you all to respond. Hey, EQ. How's it going? <laughs> You're surprised. Dude, I always read the chat. I don't always have the cycles to respond. But I, I always try to keep my eyes on the chat in a stream like this. It's neck and neck. Your vote matters. It's literally 50-50. With 199 votes. How is that possible to be 50-50 with 199 votes? I don't know. I do not know how that works. But it was listing it as 50-50. I guess that's a rounding thing. Oh my god. Your vote matters. Do I skip animation or not? 50-50 with 240 votes. See, that I understand. That's 120 on each side. That mathematically makes sense to me. Oh my god, Adam, how's it going? Yeah, happy, happy hump day. Looking forward to the weekend, me too. Although, I don't know, weekend, weekdays, it all, it's all just a big freaking blur for me, man. It's all just a blur for me now. It's just non-stop gaming, recording, editing, make a thumbnail do it all over again 53 percent want to see me skip the animation and almost 300 people have voted more than half the people here have voted i think i gotta end the poll call it there if you are enjoying the stream by the way throw a like on here and consider subscribing and if you voted for me to skip the animation and i'm now doing it throw a like on here yeah Dracool Gaming, hey, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate your content. I appreciate it. Here we go. Uh, could have been worse. Single sculpture and the Gilgamesh sculpture. The building speed up, and I'm pretty sure that's two building speed ups. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Don't skip. I want to see your hopes and dreams fade with each wheel spin. You savage. You savage. 
Well, let's go buy a bundle so I have enough gems to spin this thing more and get wrecked more, shall we? The monthly limited bundle is here, and I need gems, so I'm gonna buy it. By the way, it's been a hot minute since I've given the not financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor, okay? Not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but I will just throw out there that my preference when it comes to spending in mobile games is that you probably would consider prioritizing things like your family and having an emergency fund that's like three to nine months of uh, salary saved up as cash in case of a, an emergency, right? What's called an emergency fund. Prioritize your family, saving for retirement, all those very important things. Overspending in a mobile game, you know? Um, that all seems like really important stuff. Okay? But I'm going to whale on a mobile game. Because I'm a content creator. And I'm making content. So you make your choices too. Adam, I don't really outsource any of that work. I could look into it. Um, I've talked to a couple editors that were promising. And they almost always flake out. It's very weird. It's like they don't want the money. It's very weird. I have a good conversation with an editor and they just like ghost or get weird or whatever. It's just weird. By the way, in case you wanted to see what's in this bundle, well, I'm going to buy this one. I'll show you the next one. Now, the thing that's a little weird about crystal keys, by the way, that maybe makes this bundle better than it was before. And now I'll show you what's in there. Um, Is that like crystal keys actually have some value now in a way that they didn't before. Oh yeah, credit card debt is really savage. Like you can use a credit card to buy stuff, but you're not supposed to carry the debt. That's like not how you're supposed to use a credit card. Just in case no one in your life has told you that. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but it's like the interest destroys you financially. So crush that credit card debt. That's like an, I would imagine an urgent priority to smash. Trust me, I know about smashing. All right. So far, so good. $50 bundle. Get it, baby. So many crystal keys, which I actually, they're not half bad now. Take a look at 20, uh, 2329. What, what am I looking for? Oh, a 242 million power whale in Kiviki season one. That's a little insane. Adam says, I totally understand that. We get vendors all the time who just stop responding. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't get it because we're actively trying to spend money with them. And it's like they don't want the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's precisely the problem. It's so weird. Woo, $100 bundle. Sasuke, thank you for the super chat. Trust me, looking at the big picture spending is not worth it. I went hard whale. In my opinion, it's not worth it. I'm dropping my cards from Google. There you go. There you go. I need a not a financial advisor emoji. <laughs> I really do, to be honest. That's, dude, give me those materials, please. Thank you. And those crystal keys, mmm. Get that face ID going. <laughs> yeah, just knows about smashing, hmm. Hmm, mm, indeed. You know, Barb's used to say smash when you defeated them. That was the origin of have fun smashing the kingdom, right? Everybody knows that, right? But now they don't say Smash anymore. For a time, they said Vanquish. Vanquish. But it, I think it was just they forgot the H at the end, so it's Vanquish. <laughs> Which also doesn't exactly make sense in English. Like, you you wouldn't say, like, when you defeat an enemy, Vanquish! <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, it's just not, it's like not the thing you say when you are victorious, you know? And now I don't even know what a barb says when you beat it. Does it say anything? Now I'm just confused. I've confused myself. You agree with Sasuke. Unless you're making super amounts of money, spending mobile games isn't worth it. Yeah. Rock doesn't necessarily need your money. They need more players. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I mean, large communities are what make this game work. You need... Oh, where's the I'm not a financial advisor t-shirt? That's a good one. Hold on. Did I write that down before? Did I write that? I don't see. I don't even have time to hire somebody to design these freaking T-shirts. Not even kidding you. Uh, I'm writing this down. 
No, oh, we no, that wasn't one we wrote down. We have the pull the Chisquel t-shirt with a duck and a crab that says something like, shall we dance? I don't know why I thought that was a thing. Oh, no. Yeah, there, I do have a note here. I do have a note here. I'm no financial advisor, but... Yep, no, that's in my notes. Arjun! Hey, thank you for the super chat. Who's a good secondary to Alexander the Great? Ooh, who isn't a good secondary? A good starter secondary would be Esong. Following that, you're looking for a commander like Harold. That's top tier. I'm literally using that right now in Lost Canyon, and I mean... Okay, so I, I win some, I lose some. But generally, I'm doing pretty good up in here, and I'm just, you know, smash this dude real quick because I've got attempts left. Ooh, in two minutes to spend them. Switch. Smash. No, I lost. Wow. That's the first time I've lost that dude in quite some time. Let me smash him again. Now, let's see what he changed. Hold on, hold on. He changed something. I noticed he changed his Trajan position, so I switched my Trajan to match his Trajan. But what happened there? It's very weird. Harold and... Leonidas? That's a, that's weird. If I don't beat him laning up, which is weird, do I beat him like this? I wouldn't expect this to be the way to do it. But let's just try this. Gotcha. All right. With 18 seconds to spare. Get it, baby. Then reset happens. Then we spin more. Then we go to my restart and prep for the Altar of Darkness, assuming that there's going to be a fight. Assuming that there's going to be my... Oh, I butchered your name. I am sorry. I am sorry. How do I pronounce your name? Who else is a good secondary to Alexander the Great? I mean, like in KVK Season 1, no, I guess 2 would be like... Be like Richard the First would be a good one. But that, that kind of stops being a thing later on in things. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm doing too many things at once here. Tadek, Mark Rose, Patrick, S. Death, Justin, Is uh, Isaiah, Dale, thank you all for renewing your membership. That is happening right now, your month anniversary. Thank you. Sun Tzu is still a good combo. Yeah, Alex Sun Tzu is a good one. That's an oldie but goodie. Also, I'm up to 201 crystal keys. Let me rip open a crystal key. I generally like to save them for a big opening or whatever, but just smash a couple of these for funsies. See if I get anything good. Mm, no, Expedition War Helmet does not qualify as something good. All right, that's enough of that. Save them for later. Save them for later, Chess Cool. I'm doing all right, Neon Plays. I'm doing all right. For a super low spender, only 10 bucks a month for monthly gems. 9 million power going into KVK1. Should I go Richard Primary, Sun Tzu Secondary? Uh, yeah, I think that's a fine way to do it. I don't particularly think you want Sun Tzu as the primary over the Richard the First. Ooh. I still spend my resources on stars. Maybe I should stop. I really don't need them. Okay. What do we got here? Daily special offer. Spend blocker. Up. Tamaris, everybody. Oh, I somehow messed up the face ID. No! How do you not recognize this face? Come on now. I Maybe I should do the face ID picture. You know, when it, you like tell it what your face looks like. Or by tell it, I mean, you know, you scan your face. I should do it with the microphone in front of my face. That's That's how I should do this. There we go. There we go. I have no plans to leave 1075. I don't really know where I would go right now. If I were to leave 1075. Get him. Get him. Get him, baby. Claim all those goodies. All right. Any new events? Nope. Wheel. Ooh, Legendary Tavern. Hello, thank you. Experience Tome I don't need. Whatever. GG. I mean, let's start spinning again, shall we? Here we go, everybody. 
Best way to train a lot of troops for KVK? Kingdom buff active, rune, and in a perfect world, duke title during an event. Did Baba migrate out of 1412? No, I doubt it. That would absolutely shock me. I think he has no intention of going anywhere. By the way, if you want to migrate to Kingdom 75, we have over 300 people who've said they're on their way to our kingdom. Type exclamation migrate in the chat and you can join us in my kingdom and play with the Smash Squad. Yes, you. Truly. Oh, see? Morgan says, hey, I'm seriously thinking about coming to 75. Speak of the devil! Exclamation migrate in the chat if you're subscribed. Then it's going to give you a link. There's BYG Pi dropping that command into the chat. Then my bot will go see that and put a link into the chat. There it is. Boom. Everything you need to know about 75 is in that Discord, and you'll be connected with officers of the kingdom right away to learn what you want to learn and get your questions answered. Here we go. Sculpture. Sculpture. Wood. Research speeds. Sculpture! Not bad. Especially those universals are really valuable. What's better, Hope Cloak or Eternal Knight? Hope Cloak. 300 people? Dude. Tell me about it. It's a lot of organizing. But we're trying to make a very large kingdom that moves in the direction of being a swarm-oriented kingdom. We're not going to get there overnight. We're not going to get there in one KVK. But we're going to work on being a swarm-style kingdom. And we know it's very effective. It's been done to us and done to many other kingdoms with that strategy. So we're going to do it too. F it. And if you want to be a part of that, join the hive, baby. Get in on it. Why the heck not? Large community. Lots of people. Oh, and by the way, we do our quizzes together as a group. So you get lots of free gems every month. Every month you could get... I don't know what they got this month. 3,000 free gems? 4,000 free gems? For doing the end of month quiz? All right, here we go. Sculpture. Good start. Sculpture! That's what I'm talking about. Star, I don't need you. I, no, no. Research speedups, no. Sculpture. Okay, better. Better. I want to be a part of it. Well, Sarah, you are a part of it, bro. Get those five marches out on the field. What you talking about? All right, spin it again. <laughs> oh my God. Star. Ooh, 45 hours, food. Uh oh, this is going south. Gold, please. Why, I will, eight spot. There it is. Complain about it and you shall receive. Oh, finally, man. Yeah, that was going south right until we got that eight spot. Get it, baby. Get it, baby. There we go. All right, people want skip animation. Less suspense, faster results. Who else but water? Hey, cheers. Thank you for subscribing. Also, Ho Kong 2245. Welcome. Crush it. Single sculpture, single sculpture. All right, all right, all right. You got six sculptures for 15,000 gems for E-Song? Mega yikes. Here we go. Smash it again. It flies by so fast. Oh, no. Yo, that's a big fat duck right there. That's a big fat duck right there. Oh, dang. Dang. I just got mega ducked. This song is called Dreams. Now this is south. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me. Alright, no more skip animation. Back to the old drawing board. I wonder if I should just spin to 100 and stop these days. I don't know, man. Building speed ups? No, no, no. 45 hours? No. Sculptures? No. Mm. I don't know, man. 
Maybe I should save like 150 bucks and just not spin these so much. Here we go. Research speed ups? Food? No, no, no. Universal, that's nice. No, research speed ups? Sculpture. Ugh, narrowly saved. Narrowly saved. Oh, and you got the 8 spot on 400 gem spin? That's nice, Nick. That's very nice. Spin it, baby! Come on. Single sculpture. Okay. Stone. Doing it for the content, though? Oh, no, no, no. Single sculpture. All right, this spin turned out okay. We're good, we're good. Three of them! Woo! We're back in business. We're back in business, baby. Should I go all in on Esong with 150,000 gems? That's not the worst. Just keep in mind that you would want to use some gems on the castle. I have a dedicated video about how to best spend your gems, whether you're free to play or just in the early game. So just do a search for Chiskul Rise of Kingdoms or Chiskul Rock gems, and that'll give you the video you're looking for, or my beginner's playlist is linked in the description. Got it! I got a video for any topic you could muster for Rise of Kingdoms, literally any topic. I was gonna be jubilant for a sculpture and I got training speed ups instead. Now I'm surly. Research, there we go, single sculpture. And research, son of a gun, man. I joined 75 with 23 million power and 23 million kill points. Now I'm 32 million power, 58 million kill points. Looking forward to power up this off season. Nice, Ryan, nice. All right, well, this wheel has been wrecking me, basically, which is a little awkward. And by a little awkward, I mean extremely awkward. I'm not getting the eight spots that I'm looking for. 45 hours, research speeds, and stone. Oh, it's so gross. Maybe I just stop spinning the wheel past 100. Maybe I should do that. Just stop. I don't know. The probability of eight spots is like much higher than how often I get eight spots. I feel. I got two eight spots. You would expect three plus, three or four with the amount of spins I've done. Single sculpture and a bunch of stars I don't need and wood. Cool. That's awesome, Danny. Yeah, of course you can bring your farm. It'll have to go to a farm alliance, but like you should totally bring your farm. Gonna need a farm over here, man. Gotta get those resources so you can bring five marches to the field so we can try to make a swarm kingdom. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't even know if people are gonna do it. I hope they will. I have no control, however, over how other people play their accounts. I'm just gonna suggest that everybody does it. We all do it together. If we all do it together, it'll be very strong. Account. Let me, let me get let me let me say it this way. Kingdom over alliance over account. Prioritizing the success of the kingdom and winning KVKs. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? That's the goal. That's the dream. That's the dream. All right. We're done on the main. We did what we needed to do. Now we go to Kingdom 2. We're looking for an event that might be new. So I can show it to you. And I definitely have not been reading Dr. Seuss to my daughter. Rhyming is not top of mind. Okay. Train up some troops. Train them, train them, train them. Train them. Train them. Claim, claim all these goodies. Claim it. VIP shop. Claim it. Claim it. Claim that VIP shop. Good stuff. Claim my free sculpture. Claim my VIP. And now I look for events. Legendary Tavern. Okay. Star? Well, I kind of need stars on this account, but I'm not really playing this account. Spin the Gilgamesh wheel because I can. So when do I migrate? Uh, if you're in the migration discord, 
you'll get all the information you need about timing. There's, ooh, Universal. And should I unlock Gilgamesh on this account? I don't why, I don't know why not. I think I'll just get the unlock on this account. Will I use him? Will I not use him? I don't know, man. I don't know, but I'll have the opportunity to use him and drop sculptures if I wanted to. If for some reason I decided to do something big with my Kingdom 2 account, I have the gems. There's the Gilgamesh sculpture. There's a part of me that wonders if, like, I shouldn't just do a 30-day gem supply on this account just to, like, keep the gems flowing, you know? I don't know. It's kind of a weird idea. Also, I'm going to have to sit here one day and, like, actually spend my crystals. That's a thing. It would be a real tragedy to get the end of the season of KVK and have all these crystals left over just unspent. Oh my god. That would be a disaster. This account is in Kingdom 2. Kingdom 2 is where new events often first drop, so I'm here just to see if anything new is cooking up. And if there is, I can show it to you. For example, I was able to showcase the Lucky Stall event days before it went live everywhere else because it was in Kingdom 2. This is often Lilith's test bed for things that are about to go into the wild to a broader audience. So this way I can keep tabs on all that sort of stuff and show it to you first if there is something that's new to see. You're looking for rank 10 on a Monotori? Very cool. Gotta get those MGE sculptures. And let's go to my restart. What about Kingdom 1? Oh, it might be in Kingdom 1 too. I'm not sure. Here we are on the restart, everybody. Now we gotta figure out if we're gonna have a fight or not. But first, let's just do the courier station good stuff, right? Do the courier station good stuff. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Can you update video for the best five marches for free to play? Hmm, free to play, I'll have to think about that. In fact, let me think on that, bruh. I think that's a great idea. I'm gonna write that down. I am writing it down. S5 marches. Three, two, bye. Because the a part of that depends on the age of your account. It's actually a much more complex question than meets the eye. It, it's actually a much more complex question than meets the eye. And there's commanders like Sun Tzu that will definitely get used. And Joan of Arc that definitely gets used, right? And Ethel Fled definitely gets used. But then, like, what do you fill in with? And what should you plan for? And so on. I think those are very interesting questions, and how fast can you get to that? There's, a, there's actually a lot of meat on those bones. If you know what I mean, and I think you do, because you asked the question. Here we go. Food. Wood. Stone is eight hours. Gold. Get it, baby. Artemisia or Gilgamesh for the field? They're both good. Uh, I don't know which one's better for field yet. They're different. It kind of depends on who you have to pair with them, to be honest. Claiming all these goodies. Goodies, goodies. On my restart. Here's the legendary tavern. That's a sovereign key. Here's another sovereign key, because I don't know how I got one. Nope. Experience. Don't care about it. All right, all right, all right. Free spin on the Gilgamesh wheel. Is 1075 going to have a purge party? Uh, it's already in flight. So the people who have been repeat non-contributors are going to be fully addressed. Um, and people who missed on their contribution for both dead troops and field fighting 
If it was your first time with us in the kingdom and you missed on field fighting and dead troops, then you have to delete the difference in your dead troops between what our minimum is and what you did. And our minimums are so low. They're, they're a true minimum of like, dude, we all agree that if you're below this bar, you just aren't showing up for the team. Um, and we've had people that are like, yes, I want to stay here. Yes, I'll delete to get into an appropriate power banding for what I'll actually show up and do. It's very interesting. Now, do I do one five spot spin just to have the stinking commander in my roster? I think the answer is yes. I think I should do it. I think I should unlock Gilgamesh. I think I should do it. Lu Bu. Rip. I think I should unlock Gilgamesh. I might not even unlock him, so at least I'll get some sculptures. Actually, I, you know, I might not even unlock him. I probably won't even, but at least I'll get the five spot on the sculptures there. There's one sculpture, the double star. Oh, 45 hours is not the worst, I suppose. Some food and the five sculptures. I talked about Tickle Fist in a different video. I don't think I need to revisit it. You want an updated equipment guide? Noted. I mean, are they not going to fight us, I guess? We have two hours. Like, it, that's a long time away, but I guess they're kind of not going to show up. I, I Maybe they're not going to show up. I had planned to showcase some fighting at the altar, and I don't know if they're going to be here. Have I maxed Cleo? I think I have, but I'm going to take that anyways. Why the heck not? I got plenty of medals. I can afford it. So now I got to get some Bastion quests done, I suppose. Which Bastion quest do I want to do? Well... I mean, I should unlock all the support skills. Training troops, that's a little awkward. Training troops, that's a little awkward. But Lost Canyon, that's easy. Also, donate stone is real easy. Probably knock that out in a jiff. Here we go. Smash some of these folks. Can I show the top altar? Sure, I could do that. By the way, here's a Alex Charles offlane. Guan CJ. This is Guan CJ, everybody. I don't know if I'll win this. I feel like that Constantine Mulan, I'm never going to take down. To be honest. I think there's no way I take that down. But I do feel like their Minamoto double C offlane was a weird choice that affords me an opportunity. It gives me kind of like a window to maybe do okay here. Maybe. I don't know. This doesn't look good. Trajan, Caesar, work your magic, buddy. I don't know if there's... I don't know if Trajan, Caesar can work that much magic to save me in this instance. To be honest. I do not know. I was hanging on for dear life. Now Guan CJ is tanking. Ooh, big chunk of damage. Big chunk of damage there. Onto the Constantine. I might make it. Fernandez, thank you for the super chat. Constantine Milan, good for Canyon? Yes, it is very good. It is very good. I think I got him. All right, got him, baby. Got him. Constantine Milan is strong. Who do I hit? Minamoto Method. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Minamoto is not all that amazing, but he is a legendary that I have some skills into, you know? And Method is AoE damage, and AoE damage is the actual jam. It is the actual jam. It is the jam actual. Okay, um... I think I run it like this? Do I want to just spin my Alex off down here, though, maybe? I think the answer might just be yes. This is kind of weird. I don't know if I should be letting my, the salad up top do that. I think I'm going to try it this way. 
For 24 million power, I have about 120,000 KVK coins. You already have a city skin? Should I buy the gold heads? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think you should use it on gold heads. I just feel like there's a lot of ways to get gold heads. Wait, what the heck? How did my Guan get behind the Saladin? Yo, that, that Guan CJ took the back door. That's crazy. I, I didn't think it could do that. How did it do that? Well, this, this is, yeah, that worked out in my favor. I have a Matilda guide. Killer Shark 291. I am a hacker. I do have an emoji for that. I have an emoji for just the occasion. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my God. Boom. Cool. Hilarious. No power gain quests. Dude, I need a training quest up in here. I need a training quest. Or not a training quest, a training, um, buff. I got too many stupid training quests. Defeat barbs, fine. I'll just, I'll just take whatever stupid easy quest comes my way these days. And that is just, no. Just take the easy ones. Just get it done, people. Just get it done. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get them, get them, get them. Trajan Herald is very good. It makes my main murder ball. So, I mean, it's top tier. To make my main murder ball with all the commander choices I have, I think it's a top tier march. Now, does that mean that Chiskel Gaming is correct? Maybe, maybe not. But I mean, I think it's served me very well. Can you make an epic and legendary march combo for free to play? I don't know how to combine E Song and why I have them in the wheel. Yeah, I mean, I have a bunch of videos that do exactly that, but they're a little bit old. So if you want to see, like, the best, you know, like, infantry, legend archer, you know, legend epic pairings, or archer, legend epic pairings, or cavalry, legend epic, I have videos for that. But those videos are a little bit old, and let me just make a note on that as well. It's a good idea. It's definitely a good idea. I appreciate that. I do listen to you all. I genuinely listen to what you all ask for. Oh, man. Kahars. I just killed a bunch of barbs, though, bro. Just gonna keep killing barbs and hope for the best. Just do all the barb quests. Just just get Bastions done, Chiskool. That's where I'm at right now. I should do a new restart project? No, they're too much time, Poppy Ross. They take way too much time. Oh my God. But I am probably, I mean, it sounded like a lot of people really wanted me to migrate back to KVK season two, which I think is an interesting idea that I would entertain. I would entertain that idea. Saladin5551. VIP 12, or go Constantine 5511, then Saladin. No, I think the Saladin is a better first project. I actually do think the Saladin is a better first project over the Constantine. The Constantine is, like, fine, but gather yeah, gold. I guess that's pretty doable, actually. Defeat Barbs is pretty doable. Defeat Barbs. Gain power, gain power. Barb Forts. Oh, don't eat food. GG, easy, bro. Easy. Gather stone. I really don't want to gather stone. But I will if you reward me with one of those stinking, whatever they're called. Kahar whistles. Donate stone. Done. Now I got a bunch of barb for quests. Okay, I can, I can accept this just in time. To slay the barb. Got him. Just get your quest done, Chiskul. Just, just get them done. Oh, dang. I'm going to max my Boudicca Bastion. 
Maximum booty. Make a video of combined troops? Ooh, I don't know about that. There's not that many mixed troop marches that I can advocate for wholeheartedly. You started an account in Kingdom 75, just to be with you, because it's a very well-organized kingdom, but I don't have Esong, because they removed it from Card Keg. Oh, God, and I can't come back if I go to a young kingdom. That is true. But I'll tell you what. If you're in a season of Conquest Kingdom, which you are in 75, there are a lot of great commanders that you can choose from that are really great in the field. And yes, Esong is a great commander to have. But there are many great commanders that you can use. So, what the heck am I looking at? That's a barb fort rally that... It's got mixed troops. Okay, well. On the topic of mixed troops, everybody. Get a methyl fled. You get them, girl. Ooh, is that Ethel, Ethel Moto? That we see over there? Crypt Keeper. Thank you for the super chat. Have you tested Ram Gilga against Yadviga YSS? Seems some reports where Yadviga YSS win the trade, but I'm not sure of the gear and tech. Yeah, I still need to do rally testing, and I haven't done it yet because we're in the middle of filling our hospitals for migration to Kingdom 75. So that is something that I probably will organize. Um, it's just a little tricky because we have so many people that have full hospitals now and can't actually join a practice match. Why am I sexy? Thank you for that question, Syed. I would say that I am not particularly sexy but I appreciate the consideration. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, am I right? Just cool. I already have Artemisia. I want to bring one archer march to the field. Which commander do I suggest? You, I, I always say this when new commanders come out, but you should definitely wait to see how good Amanatori is. Because if you want to use Amanatori and Artemisia, that could be the jam. Adam, thank you for the super chat. Just spit my beer onto my computer screen after seeing that at the rally with mixed troops. The double take was real. Mega yikes! Sorry for your computer screen. And thank you for the super chat. I mean, somebody asked about mixed troops, and as it turns out, there was a mixed troop rally on the way. Get them, baby. Hey it's, hey, it's doing work. That rally's doing work. All right. You can do a video about the best barb chaining pairs for free-to-play uh, free low spender. I have actually done, in recent history-ish, some barb chaining videos. I feel like I've done that recently-ish. Gear, gear, gear. What gear for infantry open field is best? Legendary. Uh, so this is my fourth time sending this question. Okay, so for open field infantry, let me show you what I'm doing after I send out my gatherers because obviously get that value, baby. Let me just accept a gathering quest, in fact. Bastion, which which gathering quest will I take? Take a gathering quest, just cool. Gather stone. I don't want more stone. No. Gather wood. I'm more accepting of that quest. Okay, and I gotta get in the gold pit. And I'll show you exactly what I'm using on my marches. So you have a pretty good sense. There's the wood I need. More wood and more wood. Okay. So... Let's talk infantry gear, shall we? This is my best infantry set on my restart account. It's doing a couple things. First of all, I hunted the two-piece legendary bonus. Now, if you're free to play, this is a long, 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 long-term goal. But the two-piece bonus on the infantry set gives me 3% defense. And the way you want to do that on a free-to-play account is with the helmet and the gloves. And the reason for that is that you can get the boots from Lost Canyon. So if you wanted to give a, the Shio's Return a shot, which you don't need to, you'd want to do it in that boot slot. Also, this is a premium piece, Karox Humility, health on legs. Just make that and don't ever replace it. Uh, and then the chest piece, well, that you could replace in the not-too-distant future with a Hope Cloak. Uh, and then this weapon, you could also keep for a very long time. It's the Gatekeeper Shield, saves you a ton of materials, and health is just very, very, very premium, okay? Now, when we look down to a less advanced set that I have for infantry. I haven't talented everything here, but I'm closer. Instead of the legendaries, right, you could just go with epics. The frost treads are half a percent not as good as the legendary I have, but way less materials. It's, in fact, 15 legendary material equivalent for one of these. 
and its 40 legendary materials for the Shio's return, okay? Now, the Witch's Lineage is something I would want you to replace because it's got defense instead of attack. That's why I went for the Legendary Helmet, because you replace a stat that is not as good, attack, with a stat that is preferable, that is defense. Uh, but for the gloves, Seth's Brutality works really nicely. And um, again, Karak's Humility, crucial, crucial, crucial piece, keep it forever. Gatekeeper Shield, crucial, crucial, crucial piece, probably don't replace that either, okay? Um, and then I've got some leadership equipment, but also this showcases that if you were on blue gear instead of epic gear, you could start to use some of the windswept set. And I think those are really great choices too. So hopefully that was a helpful quick rundown on equipment. Now, everyone in this middle area, but where is the enemy? I don't know if they're going to come to play. So what I'm going to do is set an alarm for one hour from now and then check again and potentially send a march there. That's my play. Let me jump to my farm real quick. What do Bastions do? It's a very fine question. In the Season of Conquest, depending on the format that you've chosen, Bastions will do a number of things, but base level, what they all do is give you crystals for completing quests. And as they level up, they give you more crystal mine work speed, which you can see right over here. Bastion boosts are right there listed. So the more that you rank up, your bastions, the more you can produce in your crystal mine, which is definitely value. But in the heroic anthem flavor of Season of Conquest KVKs, you also get support skills. Now that's a little bit more of a complicated topic, but if you do a search for Chiss School Support Skill Heroic Anthem, I'm sure you'll find one of my dedicated videos that can guide you through exactly how that works. Love it when I'm on fire explaining things. Woo! Boom, wood, stone, gold. Get those 24 hour boosts going. There's basically zero moments where you should not have these active unless you're actually not going to open up the game for more than 10 hours. And then like, okay, fine, you don't need the boost. Okay, cool. And now on this account, I gotta get to the choppa. These are coming up. I do not want to miss the ruins, so I'm going to send a march. Great. I'm going to get in the gold pit, because obviously, I want to get in the gold pit. Obviously. I want to grab some resources. Wood is good. Everything else is, well, really just stone is not good. Nobody needs stone anymore. It's really weird. I don't know how this happened, but like stone is the least needed resource in Rise of Kingdoms, I feel. I don't know how that happened. Ooh, that's actually on wolf territory. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Claim all this stuff in the metal store. Refresh that. Claim these goodies to exchange later. Okay, I can do canyon later. Open up all the chests. Gold chest. Thank you, Shadow Adam, for War Machine. 10 hours, 10 hours, and the uh, anti-recon. Open them up, open them up. Shadow Adam, thank you for the geared up VIP. Hey, self high five, Chiskul. Thank you for the deceptive troops. Law. Ooh, Buddha, thank you for the monthly limited 16 hours. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Good enough. I do have the tavern here. Smash it. Ruzz, what's good, dude? Free spin. Single sculpture. 50% off spin. Love your work. Just well, can't wait to burn my 1,400 sculptures making my archer ball. Dang, yeah, Sterling. Let me know how that goes. I think it's going to be pretty badass. Let's just do a five-spot spin to get the five sculptures here for Gilgamesh. There's one Gilgamesh sculpture, some wood, food, and Universal's great. Okay, training speeds. Honestly, a great spin. And then five sculptures to round it out. That ain't bad. If you're gonna finish KVK3 in your infantry, what commander do you think is worth it? You're free to play. 
I mean, Guan is probably the first commander you go for in the Season of Conquest. That's got to be the, the pick. For SOC, that's got to be the choice. Just go, um, do you think there is a use for anti-recon? Maybe for a farm? Maybe. I mean, let's be real. What are you stopping them from doing exactly? Maybe they'll salivate less if they don't see all the resources on your farm. But at the same time, shouldn't your resources like not be on your farm? Like why would your resources be on your farm anyways, right? Right? Call me crazy, but those should be transferred at a frequency such that you don't look like a tasty snack. So yeah, let me get myself down to the ruins and gather some ooh get in the gold pit baby get in that gold pit is it fine to go ramsey's first in soc yeah i think that is a reasonable choice oh no i'm out of marches i want the food over the wood you can see my resources i really need food more than i need wood okay there we go everybody Getting it done. Ooh. Babylonian Guardians uh, being shown off there. Fancy City skin. Recruit Silver Key. What gear do I put on a leadership commander? It depends on what troop type you're primarily using. And I would recommend that you use primarily one troop type over another. So, for example, you can see on my Trajan, I have gone for all infantry gear. I think that's a pretty reasonable choice to run it like that. Well, what commander do I use a talented witch's lineage? Well, on my Trajan. Also on my Alexander the Great. How about Trajan as I'm going to SOC? I think that Guan is probably a better project than Trajan. For someone new to Season of Conquest. Ooh, double C sculpture. Don't need that, but I'll take it. Open up these chests now. See what we get. Shadow Adam. Thank you for the gold keys, the 10 hours, and the 10 hours. And. Shadow Adam, thank you for the VIP. That's 1,000 VIP. Oh, self high five. Thank you self for the 12 hour defense token man i am not kind to myself today okay claim all these goodies and how many tamaris chests do i have six of them treasures of the overlord how many sculptures am i gonna get chat how many tamaris sculptures god what a project this has been No, gear doesn't do anything on your secondary commanders. Is Edward of Woodstock relevant? Not exactly. He's just too squishy for my liking. Oh, you all are really generous. I think I'm going to get seven sculptures total here. Ten! Woohoo! Hey, that's not so bad. Did anybody guess it? No. Nobody guessed it. Ego guessed 12. That's close. Douglas guessed 9. Okay. Well. I think I can put a skill on her. I think that might have been enough. There it is. There it is. One skill away from an expertise to Maris, everybody. In KVK, what's better? 5% health city skin or 10% attack? Probably 10% attack. I would think 10% attack is going to get a better result. Twice the stats is a lot. And unlike with equipment where you're making a trade-off of the amount of materials that it's going to take to get those stats, for your city skin, there's not a materials trade-off. You know? The reason that people use the Gatekeeper Shield is not because the Gatekeeper Shield is necessarily the better item, although in some cases maybe it is. 
but it's because the gatekeeper shield for the amount of materials you spend compared to what else you could make is such an incremental gain to, to make something else for the amount of materials that you're spending. It's just not worth it. That's the logic. Can any power player get in a wolf as long as they contributed enough? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think if you're like 30 million power, it'd be very hard to pull off, but... In fact, I don't, I don't know if that's even possible. But conceptually, yes. People wanted to see the power rankings. I am 12th by power in this KVK. It's been a long journey on your Cyrus, and he's one scale away from being max. That's amazing. Okay. There is only 23 hours and 15 minutes till the end of KVK. Hopefully, my honor rank holds at 12. Oh my god, what a crazy day it's going to be if that falls. At that time, I'm going to have some tough choices to make about what to get from the KVK shop. Whew. Family's doing great. My friends, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. If you had a good time, throw a like on the stream and consider subscribing. I'll be back in the not too distant future. For what? I don't know. Tomorrow's video, we'll see. I'll think about that tomorrow morning. Well, until next time, everybody, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good